This is simply financial institutions are going to put money aside into an insurance fund. The intent, the purport of that fund is to benefit the small um, depositor. How can that be a tax? I, I don't understand how that can be a tax. The small depositor, and why I say small depositor is because it's, the coverage is only up to $20,000 per deposit. So the idea is to benefit that small depositor. That's how it is in the United States. We look at the US as a bastion of economics. This could never have been intended to cover a bank failure, an entire bank failure. That's not the way it works. That's not the way it works in the United States. In 2008, I believe, when the big banks were failing, they have one of the best federal deposit insurance schemes. They cover up to $250,000, I believe. And, and the government had to come in and, and, and bail out the big banks because the insurance can't cover it. That's how it works.